Okay, welcome back everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Um, so today I'm fishing here at Kloofsig, um, back here at the Bass Dam. But then I also have a special guest for today and it's Joshua that's standing here next to me. Now Joshua is a fan of the YouTube channel. Also he follows me on Instagram and so on and I follow him as well. And yeah, we've been talking for a while. Um, and he's been fishing a lot of the venues that I've been fishing, especially uh, Kloofsig and then Gnu Valley specifically. He's been smashing it at Gnu Valley. I've been struggling. That white koi that's been haunting me for years now, he actually, he's been able to catch it. So well done with that. So yeah, we're doing a session here today. Um, so yeah, like I said, we've been in contact for a while. Uh, trying to get a session together and we finally got the chance to do a session together so we're fishing here for the whole day then at the bass dam here at Kloofsig. so you'll remember from the previous videos why i told you guys this is now the venue that we're moving carp into and in the near future it's going to be turned into a specimen venue so yeah um joshua thank you very much appreciate it um it's nice meeting you and i'm looking forward to the day um we all our rods are out already um, so he's got two rods out in the margin. He also likes his margin fishing like I do. I've got one rod in the margin and then two further out more to the middle of the dam, testing different spots and so on. Yeah, and he's actually on his way now. He's going to do some bass fishing as well while we're here. So yeah, very excited for the day. Um, nice and cloudy weather. It's not hot or anything. So yeah, um, autumn is officially here. So we're done with that heat wave and everything. So yeah, Joshua. Let's see what happens. Let's hope. I hope we catch some good fish today. Yeah, tight lines. Yes. Okay, Joshua of his first bass for the morning. So yeah, uh, what's a lure to break? See if it means a weightless crawl. Weightless crawl. Okay, nice. Uh, this was on the 12 more sweet corn pop-up on a slip D rig. So this is first fish. There we go. Okay, and what he's not telling you guys is um, he just moved that rod. He wasn't feeling too comfortable with the spot that he was in. So yeah, and the move paid off. It wasn't, I think, it wasn't even 10 minutes and he landed this one. Not the biggest, but still it's fine. We're catching and they put up a good fight. Awesome, well done.
this one. Not what I'm looking for, but it's okay. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put it back and recast. Okay, this is my second fish of the day. Same setup, 12 mil sweet corn pop-up on a German rig. Also placed it on other side, uh, other spot in the dam. Didn't feel right for me to have it so close in the margin. And yeah, got this beautiful carp. <laughs> Okay, this is my third fish. Same setup, same bait, same spot. Here we go. Okay, so it's now uh, 20 past 12. Um, we just recasted our rods. Um, that nice uh, hybrid looking carp that uh, Joshua just caught wiped out all our lines and everything, but it's fine, it happens. So yeah, uh, but so far the young guy's kicking my ass. Um, he's landed three for the day and a bass, and I've only landed that one catfish. But yeah, um, so then there's another rod on his rod as I'm filming this. This is unfair. 
<laughs> Let's check it out. Erg Joshua. Ik denk je moet je stokken uithaal. <laughs> okay. Uh, maybe 10 minutes after we recasted the rods, Joshua's in again in the margin rod. So, yeah, like I said, he's kicking my ass today. <laughs> but that's fishing. It's fine. Um, it's still fun and we're enjoying it. So, yeah, quickly going to help him net this one. And then, yeah, we carry on. Yo, and I'll come up. Ah, yep. Yep. I'm playing it. Where does the knife run? Okay, unfortunately, um, Joshua lost that one. Um, yeah, the hook pulled, or it spat the hook. But yeah, um, but so far, yeah, he's doing very good. Um, so what I was trying to say before we had that run is that um, I've changed my approach now then to the same as his. Um, I actually use, I'm using one of his pop-ups. So yeah, um, and we're fishing the more or less the same spot. Our rods are very close to each other um, for our margin rod. So yeah, hopefully I can get a run as well and not hook into a catfish or anything. But yeah, so like I said, so far he's doing very good. Three for the day. Yeah, um, so like I said, it's just past 12 now 20 past 12 25 past 12 now so yeah i'm um, still lots of time let's see what happens very <laughs> deep stop Okay, that sucks. Uh, my first carp run for the day, uh, it was the rod that I threw all the way over to the other side almost and yeah, lost it. I uh, did see it, it, uh, it was a nice mirror, not the biggest, but an, a mirror the, non the, nonetheless. And it's been almost two years since I last caught the mirror. So yeah, that sucks, but it happens. Okay, but we're quickly gonna film that one uh, that Joshua did just landed. We were actually on our way to film it and taking photos and then my rod went so okay let's film his crop and then i'll recast mine okay so this was again in the margin 12 mil sweet corn pop-up same thing beautiful fish this is my fourth one no yeah. <laughs> Same setup in the margin.
Oh, van een wiel. Dat is iets op huis. Ik moet weer back toch. Hoe kom je echt mijn alarm? Dat is iets op huis, maar rot toch. Dat moet je eens kijken. Maar is, dat is redelijk ver uit, hè? Ja, hij is bedrijf bij die boom. Zo, so, dit kan misschien. Hij kan misschien anders, maar. Ik krijg eerst een lijn stijf, ik denk, en dan voel je maar van daar af. Nee, maar ik voel ook nog niet te. Ik weet niet waar waarom je af is. My first one then, after that one I just lost. So yeah, this was also the middle rod was a bit further out, not in the margin. So yeah, very happy with this, but um, it came with a backdrop. I didn't hear the alarm go at all. So yeah, I um, was on my way to cast out that other rod. And then, uh-uh. And as I was about to cast out, I saw the bobbin on the ground. So yeah. Nice one for the day, first one then, at least I'm not blanking, so hopefully now I can catch up to Joshua and then also catch some carp. Awesome, cool. Okay, going to take some photos and then we put it back. This is number six for the day. Oh, come on. Okay, um, I think I just caught the biggest carp for the day so far. It was my second one. Um, came on a backdrop, but I think my the batteries in my alarms are dead, so I need to put some new batteries in. I didn't hear it at all. Uh, put up a massive fight. Yeah, and very proud of this monster. There we go. <laughs> Joshua calls it an aquarium carp, so <laughs> I think that's what I'm going to call all the new baby carp that I catch. So, yeah, but it's still something and it's still fun. Okay, going to put it back. I'm not even going to take a photo, but yeah, it's got the limelight as well. Okay, let's put it back. Okay, so it's now uh, quarter to four, so we've got about an hour, 15, hour and a half uh, worth of fishing left. So yeah, so far it's been, it's quieted down a bit now. Um, at least Joshua is not catching all the fish again, so he's, yeah, but um, no, he did very well today so far. So yeah, um, yeah we could say about an hour and a half fishing left. Um, so yeah, so far it's been an exciting day. Um, we caught some nice... A well, small carp, but it's still, it's nice, we're catching, and that's what it's all about. Um, but we did, Joshua did catch that one character uh, with the white in its fins and all of that. So, yeah, very happy with the session so far. At least I didn't blank, so I caught the two so far. So, yeah, we'll have to wait and see what's left in the day. Um, usually here at Kluwfsig, um, Joshua fishes the bass dam a lot more than I do. And he says even here in the, in the bass dam, um, late afternoon uh, bite starts to pick up again. So yeah, let's see what happens. Last stretch before we have to go home. You want to face on the camera? No. Okay, Nicolas with the biggest bass he's ever caught in his life. <laughs> Right. 
Okay, so we're at the end of the session now. There's about 20 minutes left before we need to pack up. So yeah, but we had a fun day's fishing. Um, uh, obviously you saw Joshua smashed it out of the park with eight carp for the day. Two of them were very small, so we just let them out here when we had them in the net. So, but yeah, it was a fun day's fishing. Joshua, it was very fun fishing with you. Thank you for having me here. Um, really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, so, but I think we can do more of these. Um, it's yeah. really fun. And yeah, so I um, learned a lot from him also today. We spoke a lot about different rigs and baits and stuff like that. So, and it's nice. Um, you're never too old to learn and you always learn something new when you talk to other people and so on. So, yeah, we've got a very similar approach to fishing as well, especially with the margin fishing. So, yeah, um, Joshua, thank you again. Really thank enjoyed it. Much. And yeah, we can do another session very soon. Yeah, guys, from my side, thank you very much for watching. Really appreciate it. And if you come across this video, like, subscribe. And yeah, anything from you, Joshua, before we, before we go? Thank you very much for having me here. Um, I think we had a nice day. It was slow at, in the morning, but we got the fish in the margin. Yeah, we just had a good day overall. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, cheers, guys. Cheers. Till next time.